Hello guys and welcome back. I am Onyx Frederick, uh, your education diva, and I am here to finally participate in the I Teach 2 tag. Um, so I'm very excited. I've been watching a lot of videos and um, I think it was such a great idea to do this. I have found a lot of videos and a lot of teacher channels to subscribe to so I'm very excited to become a part of their channels um, and their families and watch their videos as we go throughout this 2017-2018 school year. So I am a new teacher and I kind of was hesitant to do it at first because all the videos that I watched were teachers that had been teaching for a while um, but I finally found people that were doing it that were new teachers so I was like, okay let me go ahead and jump on the bandwagon while it's time um, as I am going to be teaching this year for the first time um, and I'll be teaching middle school art um, so I have my phone here with the questions so I'm going to go ahead and get started so the first question is, what do you teach and where? So again, I just said that I teach middle school art um, and I will be teaching here in Jacksonville, Florida in the Duval County Public School System. Um, and I'm gonna be teaching at a Women's Leadership Academy. Um, so I'm very excited. I'll have all girls uh, and women empowerment and speaking and mentoring young ladies is very valuable and important to me. So I'm very excited about the impact I can have not only on their education, but also as they grow into the young women that will be the future uh, leaders of tomorrow so the next question is how long have you been teaching so again uh, I am a first-year teacher but I have been mentoring um, and doing motivational speaking and impacting uh, for about three years now so um, not that I have been in a classroom but just as far as you know teaching life skills uh, and women empowerment and the love for women and loving each other and all that goes with that I've been doing that for three years the third question, did you always know you wanted to be a teacher? So um, I actually have always wanted to be a teacher uh, from when I was younger. I can remember going to school and my mother got me a whiteboard and I have a little sister that's four years younger than me. And so whatever I would learn in school, I would come home, write the lesson out on the board. I would give her homework. I'd have my red, red pen to check the homework. Um, so I did grow up wanting to be a teacher. But of course, you know, the reason why I'm going back to wanting to be an educator is because I do feel as though the school system this day and age it you know focuses kids on worrying about how much you'll make and of course you know it's bad that there's that that uh, statistic or the thought that's out there that of course teachers don't make money so as I grew up I'm like uh, okay I want to make sure that I'm making money and that I'm able to you know provide for myself and live the lavish life that I have in mind um, and so I went to school and I started learning about business and you know wanting to be in the fortune 500 the corporate world um, but then I soon realized once I got back into again the motivational speaking and the teaching and training uh, that education is something that I really wanted to be hey Sorry about that. That education is something that I really want to be a part of as far as impacting the minds. And so I, you know, did the steps to become a teacher and I started my master's program of education and just taking the classes and redefining or rediscovering my love for teaching. It just came back and I'm very excited to be gracing a classroom and being able to impact the young minds. Um, so it was definitely something that I had to re rediscover uh, but in my younger days I did want to be an educator and I did want to be a teacher so number four is what is your typical teacher outfit of the day so for me again because I haven't taught yet I do have my teacher wardrobe that I've been building um, and again as you know my channel is called education diva so I'm all about style I'm all about fashion um, and so I think for me I'm gonna be doing a lot of dresses um, a lot of cardigans, a lot of uh, jackets and shawls, um, skirts. I'm not really a pants person, um, so I'll probably definitely do more like slacks or cargo like pants, uh, but definitely more leaning towards the dresses and I will have like wedges or little heels just because it's just who I am. And again, wanting to give uh, the ladies or the girls in my classroom an idea and a vision of that you can dress nice and not show everything because I do believe that you know the clothing that they have out now everything has holes and cuts and it's very revealing and that's not how I dress um, so just wanting to be an example for them on how to dress and being conservative modest and still look presentable and still look nice and again I want to be somebody that they can look up to um, and that you know they see that it's important to care about how you look. Not that it's everything, but just dressing 
for who you are and being confident in who you are um, and how you want the world to see you. So uh, outfit of the days will potentially be dresses, cardigans, um, or a skirt and a nice shirt or blouse um, and very limited on the, the pants. <laughs> Uh, so moving on to question number five, what do you usually bring for lunch? So I am trying to do better because I have been a plus size woman all of my life um, and I do want to be healthier because I do have a nine month old and as he grows up I want to be able to play with him outside and things of that nature and just live a healthier lifestyle. So for me I'm leaking, I'm looking, I'm sorry, to getting my own mini fridge in my classroom. Um, so I want to do like salads or you know try to get into the meal prepping. But if not, my meals probably will be leftovers. So I'm not going to sit here and sugar. It's probably going to be leftovers. Spaghetti, lasagna, anything that is good when you reheat it the next day, that's probably what I'll be eating. But my idea and the vision that I have is to do salads um, and different healthy foods, meal prepping, um, so that I can, you know, again, try to do better for myself healthy wise. So question number six is what is one of your favorite books about teaching? So I haven't really read books. I'm definitely a visual person. I'm an art teacher, so I'm more like creative. Um, so I don't really read a lot of books. But I will say that in taking my master's program, I did my um, fundamentals of teaching. And so that textbook alone just kind of opened my eyes, breaking down the, you know, four domains and um, the components of the domains and really just gave me a better insight on teaching and what it all entails um, and how important each aspect and each component of the domains are. So that was definitely a book that I kept and will be making sure that I use throughout my career um, and matriculating through teaching um, because it was definitely insightful in helping me to rediscover what it truly means to be a powerful and effective teacher so number seven is what is one of your favorite teacher movies so I would have to say my favorite teacher movie is lean on me um, I am african-american and so the movie basically um, is about a you know very low income urban like school that's just kind of gone down in the dumps and they bring in a new principal that kind of helps to reshape the school and the reason why it's one of my favorite teacher movies is because the principal comes in and makes a difference in the school by just becoming ask, uh, becoming active, I'm sorry, in the kids' lives. He cares about where they're at, where they're going. He goes to their homes and he just shows them that they care. Um, and again, that's an important reason of why I'm becoming an educator is to show the kids that someone cares, just to be that one person that is uplifting them, cheering them on and letting them know that they can do it because oftentimes it's not that many or they don't have that many people doing it for them. Um, and so that has always been a movie that impacts me. I cry every time just because, again, you need somebody to believe in you. And oftentimes, you know, educators, they come, here's the lesson, they go, you go home, I'm going to go home, I'll see you tomorrow, we'll do it all over. And they just do it and it just becomes habit. They don't really have a passion for it anymore. Um, and so for me, that's kind of something that's very important for me is to actually impact the youth and to not only give them education for now, but to also give them education to be powerful young leaders of tomorrow. So Lean On Me is a good movie. Um, number eight is who is or was your favorite teacher so my favorite teacher would have to be mr williams um he was my english teacher he was my seminar teacher that was what we called homeroom um and he also was my drama teacher and again it's just he had the ability to impact me in a sense that in other classes i knew the ones that i could barely do work um, and still get by but for him I knew I couldn't miss a homework assignment I didn't want to not turn anything in because it felt as if I was going to disappoint him and so he just pushed me to be a better me uh, he helped me in preparing myself for real life and, and it's something that I'll never forget just the way that he impacted my life um, it's just phenomenal and again when I think about being a positive teacher um, and impacting my students he's the teacher that I think of as far as just being there and his classroom was always packed because everyone wanted to go in there um, and get all of the wisdom and things that he had and you knew that he cared about you genuinely um, and that he just wanted nothing but the best for you and wanted to see you succeed so shout out to Mr. Williams yo I miss you I know he's teaching I went to school in Japan for high school so I know he's over there still um and uh, I just wish that I could still have that connection as far as being able to go see him you know and let him know how I'm doing because it was definitely um 
definitely a great experience to have an as a, have him as an educator. Alrighty, and number nine, who are some of your favorite teacher YouTubers, Instagrammers, Snapchat, chatters, etc.? Um, I don't follow any teachers on Snapchat, so I guess I could do that. But YouTube, um, my all-time favorite is Pocketful of Primary. I love her. She was the first channel I stumbled upon uh, was Pocketful of Primary. So she was my first, like, faithfully every day. As soon as the notification came in, I made sure I put headphones in and I watched the video. And I watched the entire videos. Um, and then after that, because I knew I wanted to teach upper uh, level as far as secondary, um, then I did find Too Cool for Middle School. Um, and I just loved her because, again, she's a middle school teacher. Um, and so that's kind of more so in my grade area. So I love her recommendations on, like, classroom management and things of that nature because it's definitely different from primary um and then real rap with the Reynolds oh I wish that he was a teacher when I was in school he is just amazing and just to see the connection that he has with the young men that he teaches I think that's very powerful especially being a woman you know and having a son it's very important to have men that are positive role models um and that impact the men uh that are you know growing because it's it's very important especially you know he has more african-american men and so for me i just i look at that and i just smile every time i watch it uh because it's very important that they have someone to look up to and know that someone cares about them and just the life that he has i love it so uh those, those are my primary three but i do follow many more um apples and tiaras genuine teaching um a cozy classroom and again i did just follow a lot of more people from the whole i teach two tag but those are my primary people that i watch like on a regular as far as Instagram, so a creative classroom, especially education and the artsy apple. Um, I follow them as well on Instagram and I love watching or looking at their posts that they have. So those would be my YouTube and Instagram teachers that I follow. Um, what is one of your best classroom management tips? I think again, because I am a new teacher, I don't really have the experience, but just putting myself in the position that I, you know, just recently graduated. So I have the experience of how I would want to be treated and, you know, attending the different professional development classes that I have taken. I think for me, classroom management starts with building the rapport and the relationship with your students. So I think that we oftentimes go in with the mind frame that they're going to be bad. They're going to be disrespectful. How do we discipline them? But we don't necessarily focus focus on, you know, just meeting them where they are and being active people and active supporters of their lives and just showing them that they care because again, people react differently and they learn better from people that they like. And so when the students have that relationship with you or when they have a love for you, um, then it's just gonna take everything else away and just remembering that they're still human they're still people even though they're students they're younger than we are and we just look at them like kids kids still have feelings they still have emotions and so just keeping those things in mind i think is very effective when you talk about classroom management because you'll know your students and you'll know okay so that something must be going on and you'll know to talk to them later or to you know just ask them what's going on and not necessarily you know go after them and just try to you know, give them repercussions or to give them consequences, but to actually get to the root of what's going on with them um, because they may need you during that time. But we're so focused on disciplining them and just showing that we're in charge and putting our foot down. So I think that that is very important when you talk about classroom management. Um, and the last question, question number 11, is what is one reason you decided to become a teacher? So again, I did a lot of motivational speaking and empowering young ladies um, and just to be an effective part of that every day, every day being able to see them, every day being able to, you know, help them to grow is very important. I know my sister just graduated high school and it really bothered my heart that she graduated with a cosmetology license and didn't know what to do next. Um, and so for me, just not educating them for just right now, but to help them so that when they do leave and they're done with their, you know, uh, secondary schooling, uh, and it's time for them to go out into the real world, they have an idea and a grasp of what it is they want to do, who they are, knowing their worth, you know, knowing that they can do anything that they put their minds to as long as they put in the effort, just wanting to empower them. That's, that's my main focus. And then giving them the education as well in a positive light. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to keep you guys longer because um, I know that I can talk.
I like to talk. I'm very loquacious and I'm proud of it. Um, but I'm just very excited. I'm excited to finally uh, get into my classroom and excited to sit in front of my students and go through this year. I know it's going to be ups, going to be downs, uh, but I'm excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join the Education Diva family. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos and posting more on a regular. Uh, so please make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of that. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.